Hope we're ready for the penultimate race of this chase, because I sure am. And after Tex after what happened to Texas, I mean this is ridiculous. Like Harvick DNFs. Before we get the track locked down. In fact, uh only seven cars finished in the only lap last race, so that was pretty wild by itself. And Jeff Gordon winning means that he is the probably the only one that could catch me uh, for the championship unless I have like a cash out of Bishop Phoenix. Um, but we'll see. I mean, like, there's crazy things have happened, like, because I've already DNF once in this, in this chase. It, it's still possible for me to do that again, so. I'm just going to play the year, make sure to be smooth on my marks, don't try to force anything, and we'll see, we'll see if we can pull it off. But, uh, aggressive is not the how Phoenix supposed to be run. You have to be really careful and make sure you're not uh, overdriving it, so. Hopefully I can do that, and uh, I mean, Old Phoenix is pretty fun, and uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited to do this. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be wicked. I want to make things a little easier, not be to make sure I'm not too aggressive, like uh, early on. Although that's probably the name of the game is to be aggressive early on, make sure I can get away from this guy as best as possible. The only, uh, so I want to take another lap, you know, because I cannot figure out the ranking point to turn one for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it is, but okay. Well, maybe the game will tell me once, so. Uh... Well, that doesn't really help, because the bre that breaking point is like a lot later than what I expected it to be. Or, I don't know, just. I'm just, I can't, I want to, like, be able to make the corner and I can't really get on the yellow line in terms one and two, which is really odd. So I'm trying to figure that one out. Uh let's see. Biffle fifth, Gordon fourth, Hardwick third, Jonathan second. Alright. So Gordon is uh, still trying to get there, but uh let's give me a a fight for him to get to the front. Hopefully I don't I don't lose this. But I just I just gotta come in and solid finish. That's really all it is. This for this race and Homestead. Thirty-seven laps. What a jump! Wow, what a jump! What a jump! So I can do this on the initial start because I can because I've not even fourth gear in turn one. So just completely just trying to annihilate this competition here. So I just easing three, four, making sure I hit my marks. And it's just, uh, I don't know if we can pull away, but let's just try and maintain the gap. Because we haven't had a pull away for at any race whatsoever for some reason. And there's an example of that. Wow. The, I was, I had the analog stick as far left as possible, and it just did not want to turn it there when you saw it just ship track like that. I was never, I'm, I don't understand that. You know, I find fine, like, um, this may have been the easiest NASCAR game that EA created, this PSP version of NASCAR 07, basically, is what it is. And yet, uh, I was actually struggling to make sure I could, uh, run well with, um, 
at some points. Like, I was trying to win all these races, but, like, it's weird that I couldn't. And now I'm just, and now, like, when you go here, I'm out front dominating this thing. I'm not really, I'm not really trying to push it either. It's just kind of, hey, my arms are in my race, and not really doing much else. And this is with the fault setup, mind you, so it's, it's always been with the fault setup, and so then I make some pretty real adjustments if I need to, so. Nothing, nothing really changes. I mean, I'm surprised that uh, I'm out this far. I mean, was it almost four seconds at this point, and we're only 14 laps in? I have the analog stick turning left, and I'm hitting the brakes too. What more do you want, game? It's like it doesn't respond to the fact that the analog stick is left, and just. No, just decides, no, you're still going straight. What? I barely have any problems in 3 and 4, but one, but turn 1 is like what really is setting me off and really frustrating me. Wow, wait, it just, wait, hold on, so, 19 laps, just reached half fuel. I wouldn't ha I don't have to make a pit stop. This is awkward. I'm curious to see how many cars actually will pit. And I'm also going to try to do some calculations on like what it will take for me to click the championship today. And I did get the extra bonus points for the most lap. That's 10 bonus points. If I recall, the winner gets 108 points uh, by itself before adding in bonus points for leading laps. So 190 points. Last place gets 34. It's 156 points difference. Um, and if I recall, Jeff Gordon was 131 back. Second place gets 170, and then it's 5 points from there to 5th. 5 points each. Uh, position down from 2nd to 5th. So if Jeff Gordon finishes 4th, or worse, without leading a lap, or 5th or worse, while leading at least one lap, while I win the race, I've got this championship in the bag. And he did start 4th, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see. I was doing a lot of calculations in my head. That's, that's a, lot to, a lot to process while I'm racing. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. I can make it on field and these guys are like, no, let's see if we, let's, let's pitch in case it's a green-white checker. Like, that's gonna matter. I mean, if there is a green-white checker, I'm gonna be laughing because I'm gonna be basically trapping the majority of the field lap down at that point. I feel like I can make it. We'll see. I feel like I'm staying in the eye of the storm of, like, a bunch of, like, Black cars or whatever. I don't know. If I end up lapping the field, I'm just gonna pit for tires and fuel and see where it gets me. Okay, I officially lapped the field right there. It's safe on the bottom, so... You know what, I'm just gonna go to the go, get some fuel, get some tires. Uh, really fresh today when I'm on track, but hopefully I don't like, lose too much time. So I'm really hoping for this point, because I've not wanted to pass the other this whole time. Uh, we should get, get a splash, I don't need much. Yeah, this car has felt perfect the whole time though, too, so that's what we really need. Man. If, Je if Jeff Gordon doesn't have finishing, like, fourth or worse, then this championship's wrapped up. Although they won't give me a trophy until it's homestead, so that's kind of annoying. But it won't matter either way, I have to, I have to get the trophy at homestead. The championship trophy. At homestead. Like, they're really like, no, you're not getting it early. Fumble, what? Oh, God. Please don't tell me. Okay. Just finish the stop, damn it. There you go. I just need to be nice and smooth, okay? We need no fumble bull crap. Looks like I'm still way out front, so I'm still, like, basically with, like, that same spot I was before. Back it down a little bit. 
definitely back again. I need to race these guys. Wow, Kansas is falling off badly in this one. This is probably like way far back here that he's racing against like custom cars and Jeff Burton. I say per uh, Burton, damn it. Oh my god. I can't speak for some reason, that's weird. I only finally got another finally about to get another win. Although I didn't think we'd get it. I still I, I have I definitely lost count of how many wins we actually have this season. That is gonna throw more time for the measure. Yeah, it's gotta pass closer inspection somehow, right? I mean, come on. So I'll make sure it doesn't it doesn't get screwed up. I want to make sure it doesn't look like I cheated. Ah, damn it! God, I love doing these burnouts. It's just really hard to get some of these right. And as you can see, I'm failing miserably. <laughs> Trying to do it here in this. Okay, well, I'm not trying to do a John Force style burn. I'm trying to spin out with a donut. Uh, probably should do this in turn one, because that's my stupid spot I can't figure out. Like, for, okay, it's wider there. I can do donuts there. I feel like it's fine. I am struggling to do burnouts. I don't understand it. Oh, I still have a reverse. Whoops. I eh, forget it. Can't figure it out. Come on, there, there's a no. Almost had a donut. There's a donut. There's a cup. There's a well, one donut. Fine. Let's see if we can hit the pace car. Nope. Well, I guess we ran out of time on this, whatever. Now that is a disgusting margin of victory. Ten plus seconds on the field. Oh god, and Jeff Gordon finished fourth, so if I did my math correctly, that means I can clinch this title without having to go to Homestead because of the... Like, once I start Homestead, because of, uh... If, I, if we were to tie by, by me finishing last and Jeff Gordon leaves most last win the race at Homestead, then, uh, the tiebreaker if he wins might have the advantage by a very wide margin, I would think. So, yeah. <laughs> but every lap and won the race, surprisingly. I don't think I've ever done that in this career mode, or this season, basically. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was... That's just a... That's just a butt kicking to the field, that's a, that's embarrassing. Uh, therefore, they're going for a hard fast, those you know, guys are really mad at that point. Man. That's, that's embarrassing. Oh, my math was a bit off. Um... Yeah, I miscalculated just a little bit. It turns out it was a, a 30 point difference between the first place with the most laps while fourth place leads no laps, uh, which was 30 points. And uh, I thought it was 25, so I miscalculated that a little bit. But uh, it just means you have not a little bigger gap to Jeff Gordon, and that's actually more than enough now that he cannot pat that is impossible for him to pass as long as we start home step. So unfortunately, they won't give me a chance to chubby today, but, uh, at least, uh, at least they will out their homestead. We can guarantee that as long as we start it. That's all, that's all it needs to be said. Until, except for one more thing. We're going to homestead, baby! I'm excited! One race, and the only goal is to win it. Because we've got a chance to block up at that point. 